Good morning. Different venue today. I am not quite, well I'm outside and near to um, St Nicholas Church Beedon and the reason I'm here today is because someone's coming, James Peddle I think, to look at the church's graffiti. I have a particular interest in apotropaic markings. Now, a bit of a tongue twister of a word, and it's Greek in origin. It means um, to ward off evil. So, many churches have these markings which look like they've been done uh, by a... Um, a compass, you know, one of those pointy things which make circles. So that, that's what I'm interested in. Although, um, from my knowledge, albeit a little bit limited, um, I think the church doesn't have any, but maybe I'm going to be proved to be wrong today. Now, the biggest challenge for me will be whether I uh, am allowed into the church. Now I say this because um, it's in excess of a year now I thought I'd go to the Harvest Festival service at the at St Nicholas and then I met one of the, um, the parishioners who's also a ordained minister although she wasn't given the service that day that evening I should say and um, I was given a little bit of sympathy because I'd met her earlier in the summer and she she'd come down with this illness in, in the prior months some something arthritic all of a sudden happened all of a sudden suddenly and unexpectedly it happened um, may, maybe she had been indulging in um, certain gene therapy injections who knows but uh, she was recovering from that uh, so that that day that evening I, w I was at the harvest festival I uh, I sympathized and asked how she was doing and she was look told, told her she was looking much better anyway I, I sat in on the pews and she sat in front and uh, she started another conversation the woman's obsessed with health me thinks that uh, she went to the doctor's surgery with uh, some other people and they had uh, flu and um, other um, un uh, other um, therapeutics, injectable therapeutics um, and she asked the question whether I've had a, a particular gene therapy come bioweapon type of therapeutics and um, I think I answered well I wouldn't have one of those even if you gave me a million pounds now um, I think this went well outside her world view um, in fact I'm the sort of person in her mind who would kill granny now I don't know how many granny murders I've, I've racked up over the years but um, she obviously felt that uh, I'd bumped a few off by my uh, lack of um, pin cushion -ness. Um but there was no remonstrating with her in terms of whether said uh, malody had been isolated or purified or whether uh, the um, risk benefit ratio of it or perhaps various excess deaths or whether said injectable um, ha um, had been tested or whether it's still being tested and it kind of was starting to go down a path so I wouldn't say I got thrown out of the church, but I think I was made with that conversation to feel unwelcome. 
Now, I think she should have known better, being a ordained um, minister, that probably not the done thing to to have an argument in the church. So I thought discretion, being the better part of valour, I would make an exit, which I did. So th this is my first um, first return trip to to the church. Um, I'm probably going to keep a low pro profile and keep my bloody mouth shut. But in the same token, I'm, I'm probably not going to um, suffer fools gladly. Um, anyway, I uh, is my hope uh, that uh, today will. Uh, will nourish the mind. And until next time, which is going to be a tomorrow, bye for now.